Anyway, uh, we got an action and ready Daniel Garcia video package. So I guess this is the, the deal now. They're no longer doing Mark Henry interviewing guys. It's all pre-taped promo packages, which in some ways. I think it will better. depend. Yeah. This one was great. Garcia and Andretti both came off awesome here. And Andretti notes that you like to say, uh, I'm, I'm going to reverse your catchphrase. And this time I'll say a pro wrestler beats a sports entertainer every time. And action Andretti beats a little bitch every time. And they go to Mark Henry, who lets us know it's time for the main event. I thought this action Andretti did a great job on this Dude, show. this guy is good. I've I've seen a lot of criticism, and I don't even really know why. I mean, yeah, he's not Randy Orton or whoever. I'm just throwing out some big name who's great or whatever. He's he's new, but like for a guy that he was working indies and he did a match, Jericho saw him, liked him, heard one of his promos, had this idea, and decided this is the guy. And the reality is, I mean, he took a risk. Jericho took a risk because a guy like that with that kind of experience, meaning none on a national level, he could have easily flopped. Most people would have flopped. Most people, yes. And and the fact of the matter is, is he is he AJ Styles in his prime right now? No, he's not. But you know what? He's he's working good matches. He's cutting good promos. You know, they the fans have not turned on him in any way. And I thought he had a really good main event. He had poise. He didn't look nervous. He didn't look like a guy thrust into a situation he wasn't ready for, which, quite no. frankly, is exactly what it is. Yeah. But he didn't look like it was. So I got nothing but praise for this dude. He's doing a great, great job. Now, I agree with all of that. I will say, and granted, he is obviously a small person. He's, he's relying on moves off the ropes and high-impact stuff. And he did about 15 springboards in a row at one point. And I thought, okay, it is time to do some some kicks or, 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 or grab a hole or do something else. But then, like, on the 16th springboard, uh, Garcia cut him out with a palm strike to the face. That worked out pretty great. So Garcia can't put him away. He begins to call for help. He gestures to Sammy, Sammy Guevara and Chris Jericho in commentary. I, I'm, I'm out of my element here. I'm over my head. But they just, like, encourage him. You got this, bro. Keep going. Keep going. So... They do some stuff. Action hits a double jump torneo body press, which kind of sort of hits Garcia. But fortunately, it's not the exact finish. It just knocks him down. And then he followed with a running shooting star press, which he also pinned Jericho with. And it also pinned Garcia here. And Action Andretti, I, I, I'm, I'm very impressed with Action Andretti. See, here's the thing, too. I don't really actually know how good this guy is. Because they've been very smart in the sense that, you know, his first television match was with Chris Jericho. He's an all-time great, great worker. You're not going to have a bad match with Chris Jericho. Then uh, his next match was with, uh, who was next? Who do you have next? Uh, uh, this was, was there a tag match? I, there? I feel like, the, yeah, I think there was a tag in there or whatever. Yeah. But the, the point is, he's always in there with good workers. It, they never, it's never like, you know, I had to bring her up again. I don't want to, you know, whatever. But Jade is not always, Jade is not a great worker. And we, that is abundantly clear because from day one, she wasn't only put in the ring with great workers. She was put in the ring and she's, you know, been exposed many times when she's had matches with people that aren't very good and the matches are bad. And, you know, she's had 50 matches. Yeah. In her career, yeah. she's had 50 matches. It's not very many. So I don't know how many action Andretti has had, but what I do know is he's worked enough that he is good enough to be carried. He may even be better than that for all I know, but I know he's good enough to be carried, and he has been he has been put in positions to succeed over and over and over again, and he is succeeding. Now, hopefully, they let him go out and do more indies when when uh, he's not being utilized all the time. You know, get some experience, get him out there working. I like that they're letting him cut promos and talk because you have yeah. to talk to be a star. They are doing everything right with Action Andretti up to this point. So on Dynamite, Sammy presented these pants oh, to yeah. Garcia, these leather pants that Jericho is very impressed with. Now, I, the, the finish to this match was great. The match itself was very good. But the 80s wrestling kid in me wanted to see something happen with the pants leading to the finish. 
See, I, I didn't care one way or the other because all I thought when I looked at it was he looks way better in those black leather pants. Oh, sure. So I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about the pants. It's not like he doesn't have legs. No. But there's something about him in pants makes him look uh, like to be a, a more intimidating physical presence, I find. So hopefully he keeps the pants. This, by the way, was actually Andretti's second match on AEW television. Okay. He beat Jericho. He, on Dark, has wins over Invictus Cash, uh, Bronson, which I assume is Bear Bronson, and Ari Daivari. But uh, this is only his second TV match with the company. Hmm. There you go. Well, excellent. Well, there you go. And uh, he wins. And, of course, Jericho and Sammy are very upset. As Sammy notes, this is not what we went over. That made me laugh. There you go. That was uh, Rampage. I like that episode. Dude, the show is better. The show is much better of late. This was not really a marquee show. but There was not a lot of star power. No. But I, if... I mean, there was a fair degree of star power, but, I mean, it was Action Andretti and Daniel Garcia in the main event, which is, is uh, you know, if you watch all of the shows, it's like an intriguing match. But if you're, if you're you know, somebody who... You watch Dynamite. Am I going to watch Rampage or not? You may not necessarily stick around for that one. So we'll see how the uh, the show ends up doing in the ratings. So uh, that leads us to Dynamite on Wednesday. Darby Allen, Buddy Matthews, Brian Danielson, Brian Cage, Jericho and Sammy versus Ricky Starks and Action Andretti. Britt Baker, Ruby Soho, and Tony Storm in a three-way. Ethan Page, Matt Hardy versus Hook Boy. And uh, the Guns... And the acclaimed family therapy. But did you know that in January, WWE presents the Royal Rumble on the show will be what is being called a pitch black match. Why, you ask? Well, Mountain Dew apparently has a drink called Mountain Dew Pitch Black. And they got a lot of money. If it's all blacked out and nothing happens, we're actually the winners because, you know, we don't have to actually watch it. Jared, put a black thing on the screen here. It's It would be like if the match was like this for 10 minutes, and all you heard was, oh, ow, boom. Oh. No, Mike, stop it. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.